Right, so I've got a load of random footage. I say load, I'm not even sure how much I got, but what I'm gonna do is, do you know what? That was rude of me. Hello and welcome Chin Army to the Chin channel. On this channel I vlog about my life. I have a YouTube channel with 110,000 subscribers on called Jang's Food Workshop. Where I teach people how to do Chinese takeaway food with my mum. Got a full-time online store, a Chinese takeaway, fish and chip shop. Author, self-published, so not a real one. And yeah, I'm writing two more books. Well, technically three. And an app as well. So it's pretty much all go all the time. Anyway, so yeah, I've got footage. I don't know what's on there because it's been over the last three weeks. I'm not even sure if there's enough to get a full vlog out on it. It may only be five minutes long, I don't know. We'll see. But whatever's there is going in this vlog today, which is the eighth for me and it'll be the ninth for you. Tomorrow, well, today is Jake's birthday, AKA Noodles. So happy birthday, Jake is had, having the day off because he needs to sit and play some games. They don't even like drinking nowadays, so I have no idea what they do. Probably just gonna sit at home and have 12 wanks. <laughs> anyway, um, so here's the footage. Just filming another Uncle Rogers video, I think. Remember, this isn't gonna be on main channel. Only gonna exist on Chin and Chew TV, so if anyone didn't go and subscribe to Chin and Chew TV, you won't see this video. That's called rubbish. Maybe next time you throw it away, yeah? Fuck off, you little <laughs> bastard. Right, so Tom Man is all nice and fluffy today because he's all cold from being outside. Yeah. Hello, people. Hello. Oh, no. So yeah, me and Lydia are dressing up for this hallowed eves. Is that the right word? Did you say Halloween? Of this Halloween. Is that the right way of saying it? For this Halloween, yeah. So like, we're dressing up for this Christmas. Yeah, we're dressing up for the Halloween. And... This Halloween. Yeah, the, the, Halloween. the Halloween. And... Stop standing like Michael Scott as well. <laughs> I have a strong stance. I won't tell you what we are dressing up as. I don't know what Lydia is, and Lydia doesn't know what I am. Oh no, she does now. Yeah. Yeah. Well, I'm not allowed to, I can't tell you. I don't know what Lydia's gonna dress up as. And as someone who's chilled. <laughs> yeah, it's the easiest thing to dress up as because then I don't have to get a costume. No, but you've got to pretend to be chilled, it's just gonna be impossible. I'm chilled! I'm chilled! <laughs> Tom man looking at us like he's a prick, because he is. Eh? He's also got two dinner plates and I don't know why. Eh? Do you fancy mine? One for start and one for main, eh? Oh. Just throw that way, it's been in there for a few weeks. Surprisingly, it doesn't smell. Well, when's it's best before? Chocolate milk. Um, it says, once open, consume within two days. Right, it's well before, well after two days, throw it away. Well, yeah, it's like two weeks. Baby tall man. Baby tall man. He like, says bye. This is the upstairs floor of my warehouse where my online shop exists downstairs. Just a small look of that if you wanted to. Lydia ruined it by opening something not addressed to her. Madras. Madras company. Manager of warehouse, not company. Company! Warehouse. This was sent by Ed. Thank you very much for that, Ed. Um, I tried to reach out to Goldfish, I can't get this locally. Um, they ignored me this time. <laughs> Probably because they've given me free shit before, so I don't um, blame them really. Do a little bit. Might not even do the video now. Be spiteful. No, I'm joking. I'm gonna do the video. So thanks for that, Ed. And something from Alan. Big, big fan in aliens and stuff like that. <laughs> oh, that's brilliant. That's actually amazing. That is awesome. I'm Ron. Burgundy. So if you ever want to send something to us, the best place is to send it to Jang's HQ, Mark Road, Minehead, Somerset, TA24, 5BJ. That address again will be linked below. I'm not spending, it's spending. I'm not expecting anyone to send anything. It's just that people obviously want to. And I get cool shit like an Anchorman pen. Let's try it out. So let's check this pen out. If, if batteries are not included, Alan, me and you are gonna fall out. I kind of didn't want to take this apart, actually. I oh, you it. silly twat. Never mind, the pen is for using. Don't call me silly twat, you silly dick. You're a penis. You're a dick foot. Thank you. It's very useful, actually. We're having a dick foot? Yeah. You're so Karen. Wank stain. So Karen. There's instructions on the inside. 
Oh no, are you gonna be able to read them? Don't know. <laughs> no. You see Grassy San Diego. <laughs> 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 I did the same laugh as earlier. <laughs> I'm in a glass case of emotion! That's one of the best quotes. I don't know how to put this, but... I want to be on you. I'm kind of a big deal. Oh. You stay classy, San Diego. I'm in a glass case of emotion! Your ears look weird. They're not doing very well, are they? Oh, well, I didn't put my um earrings in. <laughs> Everyone guess what colour the pen is before I wrote with it. I know, but I've just seen it. But don't you guess, because you've just seen it writing. Just I guess blue. Okay. It's black ink. I don't know if you can see that. Pointless. Black ink. I know I'm going to use this. Oh, I don't have a breast pocket. Thank God for that. <laughs> what was that? I don't know how to put this, but I'm kind of a big deal. No, you're not! You Don't let the pen go to your head! Too late! <laughs> just making a shin cup. I'm only allowed one. I normally make two shin cups every time because there's just not enough in one. But I'm not allowed to because Lydia's making vegetarian food tonight for her dad. And apparently I have to eat it. I'm just going to buy a dog for tonight so I'll eat my food. A dog just for tonight. Oh, well, there might be a dog there. Yeah. Pa No, you dickhead. So you pass the food under the tape so he'll eat it, so he'll eat the food. Oh. Jesus Christ. Got these for sale now. These are actually really expensive. They're like 60p each and you think, well, that's not that expensive. But when, let's say, you're paying six pound for a chicken chow mein, nearly 13% of your revenue is going out and paying to box it. That's a lot. So let so if you make made a thousand pounds, 130 quid of that just goes on spending on there, and then you've got your VAT on top of that, so you're already down 33%, and then your stock your costs that's another 33%, so it's 66%, and then you've got your staff, which is way more than. So if any takeaway used these, they'd literally be making sort of 40p per chow mein. It all adds up, and people don't grasp that concept. I mean. You're not going to unless you're in business, let's be honest, because it's not something that you would need to know. Why, it's like, I don't get how to program a computer because it's not in my line of work. I'm pretty sure I could learn. I don't need to know it, so why would I know it? But that is, they're, yeah, they're really expensive. So if you missed the live stream, these are shots I got. 61 here, there's no way on earth anyone's gonna donate enough for me to do 61 shots. This is how it all came. Oh, there's more actually in the fridge, I'm just, Prepping the the main and starter, all labelled with dates. Fantastic, absolutely fucking brilliant. Well done, mate. I'm doing all this as a potato today, so it's really quite warm. <laughs> I forgot to film the other bit, but this was the next stage. Phase two of cooking the duck will be nicely ovened. Uh, sorry, the. Uh, the duck's been basically boiled, warm, simmered warm. Dolphin wires have been um, ovened and I'm gonna stick these under the grill on a fairly low temperature and try and render some of the fat out of the surface. Basically to give a crispy um, outside potato. So this was what Lydia bought for our Christmas tree. No, I bought it as it's a- It's a stick. I bought it with a decorative piece. No, I said I want a Christmas tree and you said we got one. What is that? It's nicer when you turn it on. It's just, yeah, it's, it's nice and sparkly, but it's not Christmas And this way, I don't have to get rid of it at the end of Christmas. It will it'll work all well, don't have around. To, yeah, but then... Yeah, what's exactly. The, but then it's not a Christmas tree, is it? No, but it's a... Yeah, tree. exactly. Hey, Tom, man. Yeah, he's come to see the real Christmas tree, because he know. It's a lovely tree. So we bought this. Well, I bought this instead. Yeah, you did. Because of the pine cones. Because of the pine cones. No, I told you to get this one because I didn't want you to get a white one. I wanted one with a snow on, but Lydia was like... Which, what are you, a fucking drip? Well, what is this? What are you? That's a twig. Yeah, exactly, it's not like a Christmas tree, is it? It looks nice when you put... Oh, bother. Nice when you put the light on. Uh. So Christmassy, no, that's just any time of year. Yeah, I don't care. I wanted to get my money's worth. I'm not spending 20 quid for a tree that I'm gonna Yeah, but I can use this month. next year, can't I? Yeah, but also as well, I was thinking about our limited space. Where are you gonna keep this? On the floor. You can go fuck yourself. What do you mean on the floor? I'm gonna keep it right there. 
You're not keeping it up all year round. I'm not going to be one of those weird couples who has a tree in like August. Well, you want to keep that all year round and you said that was our Christmas tree. Lawyered. It's our Christmas Lawyered. tree, but it's Lawyered. an all round tree. Lawyered. I have bought what is the blackest black apparently on the market. Here it is, it's called Black 3.0. The one before this was called Black 2.0 by a different person, but they reckon that this is darker. I just can't see it happening, if I'm honest. I, I was dubious about the 2.0 in the first place, but I just don't believe it. So I'm gonna paint a couple of things and then we'll see. So the first layer's gone on. I think if it was, this works or is going to work well, it needs to be in a spray form. So I feel like this is pointless. I mean, this was like, I think 20 quid, no, 16, 14 pounds, 15 quid I think it was. And I'd pay the extra like fiver to have it in a spray tin to get an even distribution because not everyone's got a airbrush at home. So I'm just literally using brushes, but because of the lumps in it, they're going to reflect light anyway. But I mean, this whole point in this paint, it shouldn't. So we'll wait till this dries and do loads of layers. It's already dry and it just looks like black paint. <laughs> So I'm not gonna lie, I'm fully disappointed. I mean, it's matte, that's all I can say. And you know, there was a dot in here and when it's wet, you can actually see that the clicky thing. But when it's dark like that, you can't actually see it, which, okay, it's quite impressive, but it looks nothing like it does on their literature. The reason why I did a 3D model is because it would absorb so much light that the top would be the same color as the side. It's just not the case. Don't get me wrong, it is, matte as fuck but it's not black i have a feeling that if i spray painted it it wouldn't have made a difference um to the top the, the massive rims here but maybe to the surface like around here because any sort of imperfection is going to be picked up by light if it's capable of being picked up by light if you know what i mean i'll, I'll be 100 percent honest it's just i think because i've seen people paint the 2.0 with a paintbrush and it doesn't look like that it's always really dark so i think this is I don't think this is anything like the 2.0. I think it's good marketing for it. Right, so here's the first video back. It's been a long fucking time. I'm I, like, I haven't done Pokemon openings for nearly two years. I Thanks for watching, guys. Make sure to like, comment, subscribe. I hope you enjoyed that footage. I'm filming this before actually going back and watching it, so it could be brilliant. That was really funny. Or, God, that was dull. Whichever is appropriate. Please take that away. Yeah, so thanks for watching. Make sure to like, comment, subscribe. Stay safe, this is the way. Live long and fucking prosper. Stay classy, San Diego. Chin is out.